I go right. to the left. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Small guy. Still worth it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm look down here a little bit. Sure. Small male. He was out grazing. Wrong place, wrong time. Had to come here and teach him a super fat lesson. Oh yeah? Yeah. So guys, we're driving around right now. We're seeing a lot of juveniles out. A lot. Man. Oh my Man. God. Look at look at all these lizards. And look, look what they're eating, dude. Mangoes. No. There's a mango right there. Those silly iguanas. Dirty iguana. The thing not even ripe. <laughs> don't even matter. Look at that. They're going ham on this non-ripe mango, but they've actually ate half the mango with no problems. Interesting. Leave it right there, and you guys see what the you guys see the condition of the mango right here. Just take a good look at it. We're gonna be back later to see what it looks like. Just leave it right there. Yep. Then yeah, if from this tree right here. Oh yeah, you see the tree? Yeah, the mango tree right here. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna see how much these iguanas like these mangoes. If they do, we're gonna probably use them for bait somehow, and this way we could probably trap a bunch there's, of them. There's another one bitten, bitten up over there. Another bitten right mango under, right under the tree. Okay. So I, didn't, I didn't even know that they eat ripe mango. I thought they waited until it was, you know, nice on juicy on ting on ting. Right quick. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> Obliterated it. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. Kind of the same thing we were talking about last time we were here, talking about coming in the heart of the community yeah. to see what iguanas are lurking in here as you can see they look, look at this yard right here they can literally have a field day do whatever they want climb branches eat food hide the weather's starting to pick up a little bit the sun's gone oh my god right, right on the tree look look a bunch of them are running holy crap holy crap Hey, you know what it is? Those other iguanas, I think they're like hanging out with the alpha, you know? Uh huh. Oh, there's one up there. Where? Up there, I just seen the branch move. These iguanas, they just ran up this tree, they just disappeared. Oh, I see a tail. You see a tail? Let's see if we can get any shots. Holy crap. There's some thick stuff right here, boys and girls. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh shoot, I just lost my crock. Uh oh. Now we really need to watch out for crocs. <laughs> Holy crap, snails. That's a lot? Yeah. I'm just sticking my hand in this mud. Who knows what's in here? Did I seriously lose my croc? Oh, I got it. Oh, it's a big one, isn't it? Ugh. Holy snaps, Batman. Ugh. That water dude. Oh my god. Question was to get iguanas? Yeah, buddy. 
Oh my gosh. So slippery. The iguana. Let's put him in the bag. Let's see what else we can catch. So you guys are probably wondering what these iguanas are doing. Right now it is the rainy season. It's very hot. And as you guys can see, there's a bunch of sproutings everywhere, guys. All the plants are starting to grow and the iguanas love to eat these nice, tender, supple plants. They're easy to chew, they're full of vitamins, and it's so abundant. But that's why we need to come out here and stop them, guys, because there's a lot of native plants that are very important to some of the native butterflies, bees, and birds. So if the iguanas are out here out of control eating everything, it's gonna definitely throw off the balance, and some of these native species are gonna disappear for good. I see them. Come over here. Hey. Iguana removal. Yeah. He's an iguana eating my new plants. Really? I planted this new garden. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to the nursery. And they said an iguana. I caught him here at lunchtime. He was oh. only like this big, but he ran off that way. But look, he, they ate him. Oh, oh. man. And so they said to me to put cayenne pepper all over it, and I put a spray on it, and he started eating. I saw it lunchtime today, um, but look at that one. They completely killed it. He did it in like an hour or two. But both of those plants. But, well, I had sprayed it on there, and I saw him eating it. I'm like, he's freaking salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> and, so I came out here, and I poured it on it because... It's only brand new, yeah. um, and the nursery said it doesn't plant, but I'm, I've got to stop them from eating it. But they, he chowed down in like two hours. I came out and started crying, but I, I spent a lot of money on putting yeah. this in. Do you, um, but he he ran off. You get some like chicken wire? It's not a, well, chicken wire is not that expensive, but no, just just yeah. for this, that's what I'm I'm, yeah. I'm I'm looking at this and I'm like the only way I can see for right now. Well, that's why I went out on Amazon and I'm mm. buying nets just to protect uh, those yeah. two because this needs to recover. Yeah, or you could just get a small thing just to wrap those. Yeah, two exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap those two because they don't seem to eat anything else. Like a net, just come out here and. Eat. <laughs> I, myself. I didn't want them. I'm not putting on a thousand dollar salad buffet. <laughs> 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 Guys, we're being forced to call it a day. Just check the radar. What did it say, Ninja? It's going to pour cats and dogs and a whole farm. Probably some iguanas as well. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to have to wrap it up. But um, we're not done for the day, though. We are going to go fishing today, right, Ninja? Yeah. <laughs> because the rain brings fish. So we're going to go see if we can catch some bass, some snooks, some tarpon. So uh, real quick, we're just going to show you guys the ones that we caught real quick. One, two, two. A tree. We got one more in there. Yep, we got one more. And a four. One more in the bag. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the red subscribe button. Also, Iguana Ninja has his very own YouTube channel. What is it called, Iguana Ninja? Iguana Ninja. Link in the description down below. Go check the Iguana Ninja out. Let him know the Iguana Man sent you. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching today's video. Uh, we didn't shoot no giant ones today, but that's just the name of the game. We were able to get four of them though, which is still better than nothing. So that's all we have for you guys today. See you guys. What is going on guys? It's your boy, the Aquatic Man. We're back at you guys with another video. As you guys can see, I got a new John boat. It's really nice. It's, it's a 12 footer, it's wide. And uh, in my opinion, this is like the best way to get some nice hunting and some fishing going on. Uh, apparently, it is the dry season right now. So as you guys can see, the water is very low. There's a lot of weeds. But when the water gets low, the fish get more concentrated. So today, we're going to see how many fish we can catch, explore, see what kind of wildlife is out there. And we're going to see what we can catch. Stay tuned. Oh. Did he come to the boat and eat it? Bro, nigga, I was drinking it. Oh, Crushed it. Oh, no. No, you're good, you're good. He's right there. He's, he's probably right coming to me. Josh, you're going to have to land him, dude. I'm going to try. Oh, there you go. 
Land him, land him, land him, Josh. He's on jump, Josh. Land him, land him. Let's go! Let's get it! That's the biggest bass for sure. Let's oh, go! Yes. That was a good three pounder. Oh, on Bro, earth. I've never seen that like that. I saw I see a CJ's rod. Oh, he was about to get his Drake or something. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? The Mitch behind you. Yeah. Is that exactly what he right next to the boat too? Oh man, that was sick. These fish are hungry. Wow. Dang. 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 Nice fish. Dang. We'll count that as two, all right, CJ? Yeah, all right, cool. Any big anything, anything. anything. Man. Like three pounds and up. Two, two points. Yeah. All right, guys, we're trolling the back of the boat. Josh hooked up on? again instantly. I've never experienced stuff like this before. <laughs> Not like this. That's sick. There's a bass up here too. Oh, where? Oh, oh my here. goodness. Dude, this place is infested with wildlife. Ooh. These aren't no little sleepers either. These have got some chunk on them. That's a nice, healthy one. <laughs> trolling. I'm trolling all the way back. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's whatever it is is huge, bro. It's long. Oh. oh <laughs> hey, the snakehead got away. He self-released himself. It's all good, though. That works. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to bring his butt on this boat, right? Yeah. He's gonna bring. Good quality snakehead. Okay. <laughs> all right. Got some good news and got some bad news. Good news is we're catching fish. Bad news is we're right in the middle of the storm right now. Put this here. Okay. We're we're gonna gonna yeah. Get shelter somewhere too. Just hang up under the tree. Yeah. Like post up right under the tree. All right, y'all, oh you guys are seeing it right here. We are caught smack dab in the middle of a category three right now. Category three. Ninja, thoughts on the current situation? Uh, it's wet. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Should have brought a poncho. Back to you. You're going to man. All right, you are now experiencing Florida weather. Nice and sunny and cloudy. And then out of nowhere, Category three. Category three. You don't feel that bad now, right, Josh? Not at I mean, all. I am completely soaked. <laughs> Back to you, we're going to win. Guys, as you guys can see, it is absolutely treacherous out here. It's, it's, a, it's a very wet storm. A lot of rain, a lot of thunder, a lot of water, guys. So we got to hightail it back to safety. This is an SOS, guys. And it's, like I said, seems like it happens every time we go out on the boat. Well, we checked it. The weather said it was going to be perfect all day. They lie. Fuck you, bro. Hey! Gee! Gee! Look at that. The sun is out there. We're still going to go back to camp, though. It's still raining. I don't really care. You ain't gonna believe it, the rain cleared it and Josh is hooked up on another bass. That's number that's number eight. Is it eight? Yeah. Already wet, right? Yeah, the sun's gonna come out, we get dry. Okay. The sun is still real high up in the sky, you're right. It's up in the bird, it's a... That was crazy, bro. That just goes to show, like Ninja was saying, how unexpected for it it can be, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you just got breached on, bro. Oh! Oh, Houston, we oh, have. Hey, get him in the boat, Josh. Oh, that's the biggest one, right there. Get him in the boat, Josh. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat, dude. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat, please. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Oh, 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 yeah, Probably. yeah, for sure. That's about the same size as his. Probably, yep. Three pounds. About the same size. Dude, he came up out of the Bro. depths and <laughs> ate it on top of water. One man's trash. Woo. Another man's treasure. What do you got there, buddy? Uh, some, some kind of chatterbait or buzzbait or something? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I'm sitting down. This one. Holy shit. Flip him in, Josh. Ready? Hold on, hold on. Ready? 
This is a good five pounds. Wow. Five or four and a half, maybe. Definitely. No barb. Bro, he cr I seen him crush it. He came over like a tarp and rolled. Oh. I knew it was big right off rip. There you go. God, that's a man. That's a cruncher. No barb. Hey man, that's 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 yeah, that's for, my knuckle. Up. That's that's <laughs> dinner right there. That's how you know it's a big fish. You start cutting your fingers open. That's, that's dinner right there, man. That is a chunk. That's a five pounder. Five. Yeah, like four and a half. Yeah, maybe four. Four to five that's pounds. A fat yeah, four. four to five pounds for sure. That's a wow. fat four. That's what we're looking for here. Let me, that's let it right me there. try this out. Yeah, pick. Bring him in the boat. 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 Flip or die. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh oh. Nice. Oh. Where's the place for real? You got it? Figured it in rain. Oh, yeah, I just need one bass. Come on. Got a random toilet seat floating around. Where? Right there. Oh. <laughs> Contamination. Oh. Wow, guys, talk about a, a, an amazing day. We're sitting here drenched, soaked to the bone, cold. First day on the boat. It, like I said, every time I go on the boat, it always rains. Why? I can't answer these things, guys. I don't know. I think it's just the fish gods and the iguana gods. They want us to work for it more. And you know what they say, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. So if we can survive through this, and fish through this and look we're all just chilling in this thunderstorm i mean we could practically do anything make it in afraid i don't know about all that but yeah i got your i got your point no no three men three women comment down below <laughs> comment down below if you guys want to see us doing naked and afraid three men against three women and three women there's three teams oh 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 my goodness. Slippery little salmon. Alright, that's a count. He hit the boat. That's 18. 18. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 fish. Alright guys, Josh is at 18 fish. He's gonna try to just go for the 20, y'all. Uh, oh my god, he's so we, We've came this far, we've endured so much that if anybody can do it he can't don't mind the language guys all right this, we're sailors out here i'm sorry it's okay it's okay there's a live snake head in the boat get out of here <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo he literally jumped up and tried to take my finger <laughs> not today mr snakehead this boy caught 18 fish today guys 18 18 we only caught three the boy and caught i technically didn't even catch three i caught one big one and a decent sized one so technically, I caught two, but still, it was a good day, very good day, an adventurous day. I mean, it don't get more adventurous than this. Not at all. Three Florida men, John Boat, Florida Canal, in a thunderstorm. Hey, Jumbo. You do the math, y'all. Hey, Jumbo. You do the math, y'all. Comment down below. What's the toughest fishing condition you've ever fished in? Oh yeah. Was it like this or was it worse or are we just Category being a bunch four, of cry five. Yeah, or are we just being a bunch of crybabies? Let us know in the comments. Hurricane Katrina. Try the left, Josh. Try the left. Hurricane Wilma. You decide. Come on, big Bertha. Where are you at? It's raining. We need you. Hey, Jumbo, in Boys, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to these channels, all right? Subscribe to the channel. Like, subscribe. Comment down below where else you guys want to see us fish. What else you guys want to see us do? We got this boat, Guana Ninja. We got Swayze on God, the Guana Man here. Pond Stars, he's working right now, so we ain't gonna see him right now, but we might see him later. So stay tuned.